financial audit agencies okay so it general controls are basically show, showing that the it systems on which the financial data is based are correctly working okay for example you understand the erp systems anybody know what is the erp system okay. the enterprise yeah, yeah erp systems where you have ledgers where you have invoicing right everything is basically here okay in the market you have oracle and uh, you know sap and all that right so these erp software host the financial data right everything is financial in this erp systems now tell me one thing if the person who is managing this erp system from the it if this person wants to do corruption or fraud can he do that the answer is yes okay because these are softwares right and it person system administrators can easily play with the software if they want to right that is why it general controls are designed to make sure that such a thing cannot happen okay that is the main purpose of it general controls what are the controls that will stop anybody from the it department to make any changes in these systems okay that is the reason why we have the it general controls okay proper management and operation of it system okay so that we can have a data integrity security and availability of the data okay any it processes any system supporting the financial reporting okay remember only financial reporting operation and compliance they apply to they come under itgc okay itgc forms the backbone of all the control frameworks like i mentioned okay whether you have sox whether you have sox whether you have coso whether you have uh, you know any compliance related with the financial frameworks itgc form the backbone okay focus on controlling it system related risk like i mentioned okay what could be the risk now unauthorized access data tampering and system failures it people can allow all this okay i should not say allow if they want these things can happen right either if they want they can corrupt the data also if they want they can provide unauthorized access also so it's up to the it people okay that is why the general controls are designed so that they can have a control on the it systems and nobody can change any information just like that okay so data integrity is the most important part of financial system you know for a bank what is the most important thing is it confidentiality or data integrity tell me both sir integrity holds more value for a bank i'm telling you because if the data is in, is not proper your customer won't be happy right so that is why integrity and confidentiality both are important but from a banking perspective again from a financial perspective you need to ensure integrity at any cost okay it's very important any unauthorized changes in the customer data do you think the customer will be happy not at all right similarly for the financial systems also when we are deploying these systems in the companies what do we want at the end of the day we need integrity okay proper financial reporting should be there okay we need proper financial reporting and this reporting should be proper with proper accuracy and reliability okay IT systems should be safeguarded from any breaches, malware, and insider threats. So we need to apply the controls also. Okay. Any downtime or system failure needs to be considered, and we need to introduce the backups and business continuity accordingly. Okay. Compliance requirements also. I already mentioned. If you are actually dealing with ITGC, most of these compliances you are already fulfilling. Okay. 
ITGC provides a foundation of effective application controls. Okay, the controls are there, but whether the controls are effective or not, that is what ITGC ensures. Okay. Now these are the controls which are there in the ITGC. Okay. You have access management in ITGC. You have change management in ITGC. You have IT operations in ITGC. You have logical security. You have data backup. Okay. You have incident management, and you have physical security. Okay. All these controls come under the IT general controls. Okay. And if you see most of these controls, who is managing the IT department? Okay. For example. Access is meaning managed by IT. Change management again managed by IT. Okay. Logical security again. Authentication encryption managed by IT. Okay. Data backup and recovery again managed by IT. Incident management again IT. Incident management managed by IT. Okay. So most of the controls are managed by IT. Okay. That's why it is called the IT general controls. Okay. Any organization, be it private or pu public, needs the ITGC. If you remember, in case of SOX, what did we discuss? Whether public or private, which organization needs SOX? Public. Yes, public organization. Very good. Who have their stocks in the stock exchange? They need the stocks, but in ITGC is not like that. ITGC is applicable to public and non-public. Private companies also have ITGC. Okay, any financial institution should follow ITGC. Okay, any healthcare provider should follow. Okay, service organizations, government agencies. Basically, ITGC is the bare minimum that any organization needs to have in place. Okay. Confi these are the main objectives okay data confidentiality integrity system availability compliance support risk mitigation and operational effectiveness these are the different categories of itgc okay like we have already seen what are the different types of controls as per the controls these are the categories that's it now, how you implement ITGC in any organization, okay? You basically start from the risk assessment. You identify what all IT risks are there to the ERP systems, ERP application and all, okay? You understand the risk, okay? What all this do you think are there? Then you define the scope, what all, uh, you know, uh, department will be co covered or either it's only limited to the financial reporting and operation okay so financial reporting and operation only is the scope of the ITGC 90% of the time okay 99% then you develop the procedures and policies as per the risk assessment okay then you implement the controls then you train the employees then you monitor and test the controls then you address any control gaps and then you have the ITGC external auditors basically visit your company and basically check all these controls which you have implemented okay that's how it is and itgc auditors are very very strict okay you heard about big four right kpmg deloitte uh, pwc these companies only do the itgc audit okay mainly they handle the itgc okay And uh, which organization are in the back of this ITGC? I mean, supporting or developing the controls. Nobody. I mean, this, Nobody. This code. Nobody. These are these are just general controls that are that have to be there. That's it. Okay. So okay there is some no somebody should uh, uh, define the scope and uh, you know, as you said here, the steps. Or I mean, some organization or framework as a backend for introduction of the ITGC yeah introduction uh, setting the, uh, the the borders the content the scope okay so basically these controls came from SOX if you ask me section 404 if you remember yesterday when we saw it had the ITGC okay so it comes from the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, if you remember, for financial fraud. That is where it introduces ITGC. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
I think so. Yeah. Uh, I think for the frameworks, uh, uh, the Cobit from ISOCO can be a good reference. Yes, uh, because Cobit also Cobit also has it. Coso also has it. Yeah, you're right. Yes, and the controls may be related to the organization scope of work and activities, processes, applications. Yes, that is right. Okay. But COBIT and okay. COSO are not compliance frameworks. That is why I said SOX. SOX is a compliance framework, right? COBIT and COSO are the general IT governance frameworks. Okay. They are not a compliance. Yes. Have you seen Have you seen anybody COBIT certified? No. It's not possible, right? But SOX certification, yes. It is possible. Okay. Uh, did you cover the socks uh, or still be socks? Yeah, did we did, did you cover that in the train this training? Yes, not? yesterday I think I covered Rafi. Yesterday we did discuss socks, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, because I remember sock only, not the socks. <laughs> These terms are interchanging. Yeah, we, we did cover, we did cover socks. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so these are the common IDGC control like we see already. Okay, patch management, backup, data encryption, incident response, change, change management. Okay, non compliance in ITGC, lack of formalized processes. Okay, weak passwords, failing to deactivate access for former employees. This is a very common, uh, you know, non compliance which I have seen so far. Many companies, their people leave, but they do not activate, deactivate their accounts in finance also. And that is where it becomes a non-compliance. Okay. Inadequate testing of backups. This is also very common one. These two are very common. Okay. Unauthorized changes to critical systems. Yeah, this is okay. Insufficient monitoring of IT systems for lock. This is also okay. Lack of employee training, failure to patch systems poor documentation of ITGC control. This is also a very common one. Okay. Benefits of ITGC. Again, the same benefits of SOX basically. Okay. We have increased trust and credibility. Okay. We have proper, uh, you know, risk assessments in place. We have proper cybersecurity posture of the organization, reducing the risk of fraud and error. This is very important. Okay. These are the real life ITGC use cases. Okay, so ITGC can be used by banks, healthcare, e commerce platforms, cloud service providers, manufacturers, and government agencies. Okay, different documentation required for ITGC. Okay, different policies are there access management policy, change management policy, incident management policy. Then you need to have the risk assessment in place. Then you need to have logs, access reviews, and very important part of ITGC is the audit trail. Okay. I think we discussed yesterday about what is audit trail. Okay. This is a very important part of the ITGC. Okay. Backup and disaster recovery planning, system change approvals. Okay. ITGC testing, incident response logs. Okay. Penalties are basically again loss of trust between your organizational operations okay and if you are under SOX, if you are a public company then you will be getting penalized also okay itgc basically controls to secure it systems and processes related to the financial data okay remember that and uh, coso COVID, iso all the frameworks can integrate with ITGC. Okay. Again, should be tested annually only. Okay. Auditors basically come and take the design and operational effectiveness. They do not check the effectiveness over a period of time. Remember that because I remember a case where in a certain organization, the backup was not working for a period of time. But uh, when they asked the system administrator provided them a valid reason. So there was not a non-compliance because of that, right? 
so they basically check the overall effectiveness and design that's it they don't go with the so much detailing like soft to type 2 okay so need to understand that okay if itgc audit failure happens then basically company has to remedy the gaps which have been observed and provide the evidence okay uh, excuse me sir yeah uh, regarding the operational effectiveness, yes. uh, so you mean that ITGC audits are conducted uh, uh, within the specific uh, timeline of the audit field work? Uh, I mean, uh, they are assessing the effectiveness of the controls as of the date the audit is performing. Yes. For example, if they will see, let's say they are doing audit for the entire year, right? Very good question. Yeah. And during that year, they see that from May 1st till May 14th, the backup was not taken. Okay. So in this case, basically, they will ask the justification for this. And if you are able to provide the justification, they will clear your audit. Okay. However, if it is a SOC 2 type 2, then they will become this. They, they will basically mention this as a non-compliance okay that is the difference got it yes so basically operational effectiveness but not over a period of time that is important okay only operational effectiveness that's it not over a period of time okay link between itgc and sox okay both are used for financial reporting, okay, and meeting the SOX requirement, okay. So that is why ITGC is strongly related with SOX, okay.